They say that if you send two plumbers to rough in a house, they will not plumb it the same way. I believe the plumber that uses the least pipe and fittings will accomplish the best job. Many factors cause you to rough in a pipe a certain way. The most important factor is doing it to code. The second is accommodating the customer by keeping your pipe in walls and ceilings, thereby limiting how much the contractor has to box in. Ultimately, the best plumbing is as straight as possible with as few fittings as possible. With this in mind, let's go over a few code classes. First, let's try some wet vetting. At the front of the house, we have a kitchen sink above and a bar sink below. 2521 tells us that you can wet vent up to four fix units above the first story from any one story. This makes this kitchen sink and bar sink ideal for a perfect multi-story wet vent. How many fix units are affecting this wet vented waste stack? What size is it? Let's zoom around and see how many fix units are affecting it. Only one and a half fix units affect its size. That's the minimum wet vent. One and a half inches. What table would you size this flat vent by? 2581, 2584, 2571, or 2583 of the 2015 National Plumbing Code? This is a stack vent, or a flat vent acting as a stack, stack vent. Size by table 2584. Where does it tell us in the 2015 MPC how to install the dishwasher hose under the counter? The code tells us that the dishwasher hose shall rise as high as possible under the kitchen counter before it ties into the continuous waste. This is found in 2451 subsection 6 of the 15 code. What is this pipe called? What is the maximum developed length in the 2015 code? What clause is it? The maximum developed length of a continuous waste is 1200 mils in the 15 code. You can find it in 2451 subsection 2. Now let's take a look at the venting system. Here we see we have two windows above the kitchen, so we had to run a flat vent. In the code, it states that all vent terminations must be at least three and a half meters away in any direction from any air in that opening door or opening window and one meter above. What is the minimum height termination of a vent? What is the minimum size? 2565 states that when a vent passes through the roof, it shall be protected by frost closure by increasing one pipe size and shall be at least three inches in diameter. Two five six five also states that a vent must be installed with a roof flashing and high enough to prevent roof drainage and at least six inches above the roof. Let's go down into the kitchen where we have a dishwasher and a double stainless steel kitchen sink. What is the fixed unit load for a dishwasher and a double kitchen sink? Only one and a half fixed units, as they are used sporadically, are not always at the same time. What is the fixed unit load for a bar sink? You can find it in table 2493 where it states that it is the same as a kitchen sink one and a half fixed units. Here we see the building drain and the main cleanout with a normally open back water valve. It states that this back water valve can be installed on the sanitary building drain. What other devices can be used to prevent backflow on fixtures below grade according to clause 2464? 
It states that a gate valve and backwater valves may be installed on a branch while a removable screw cap could be installed on a floor drain friction drain. What is the minimum size cleanout for a building drain? It tells you in 247110 that every building drain cleanout must be at least four inches in size. How far can you run a two inch branch before you need a clean up? Table 2472 tells us that you can run a two inch for 7.5 meters or 25 feet before you need a clean up. This is found in one way rotting. 2471 tells us that every soil or waste stack requires a clean out at the base of the stack. Where else can you put a clean out on a stack? You can also install it three meters above the stack in case there's accessibility problems. It also tells us in 24717B. Now let's take a look at our laundry setup or clothes washing machine. The 2 2 and 2 rule applies for clothes washer stand pipes in the 15 coat, 2 inch in size, 2 fixed units of load, 2 foot minimum length, and above the flood level rim. This is found in Table 2493 and Clause 2493, Subsection 3. What is the name of the vent above the cleanout and how do you calculate its developed length? This is the vent serving the clothes washing machine and the laundry tub. As you can see, it perforates through one or more stories. This stack vent's developed length is from lower end to outside air, as it dictates in 25484 subsection 2. So this developed length will go right to outside, outside air to the far terminal. This bathtub is being individually vented. Where would you put the cleanup if you were to run an individual or a flat vent? under the bathtub. You could run the clean out in the ceiling under the bathtub or a better choice would be to run it above for accessibility reasons. What is the name of this vent? What is its developed length? As you can see it ties into the stack below the toilets. It has a vent that ties up above into the stack above. This is a dual and continuous vent. It is sized by table 2571 by trap size. No developed length is required on a dual or continuous vent or dual and continuous vent. Let's take a look at the toilet. When roughing in a toilet, how far off the finished wall is the center of the toilet flange required to be? The flange shall be at least, or shall be, 12 inches off the finished wall, not the rough wall. How am I venting these two toilets? Notice that they are 9 foot 8 inches apart, or away from the main stack. These two toilets are being stacked in it with a symmetrical double TY, as I can run them up to 3 meters horizontally and 1 meter vertically. The lab, or inch and a quarter P-trap on it, and the shower are discharging in the multi-story wet vent to the story below. What size is the shower P-trap and fixture unit load? If it's running 8 foot and it's 2 inches, well, as in accordance to 2521H of the code, there is a total of 4 fixture units from the 1 fixture unit lab and the 2 inch P-trap, which has a total load of 3 fixture units. Now we're going to run down to the three-piece bathroom that is being wet vented through the above shower lab. What is the total load affecting the full multi-story wet vent? So in other words, this three-piece bathroom is being wet vented through the shower and the lab above. As you can see here. 
So we have a horizontal wet vent in the basement with the toilet being the last connection, a two inch shower, and an inch and a quarter lap. Just like the upstairs bathroom, the downstairs two inch P-trap shower and the inch and a quarter P-trap lab are dumping into the multi-story wet vent for a total load of eight fixed units and a three inch wet vent. How far could I run this four inch emergency floor drain at minimum grade without needing a vent? Let's take a look. You could run this four inch floor drain at least 32 or 32 foot maximum at eight of an inch per grade, as it says in table 2563 or 9.8 meters at 1% grade. Is an expansion joint required on every stack? 2339 tells us that expansion can be dealt with in a number of ways utilizing an expansion joint or through means of piping design or materials used. Where does the sanitary building drain actually begin in a plumbing system? In defined terms of the code it says that the sanitary building drain actually begins at the most upstream soil stack branch or fixture drain serving a water closet. Do you require a 3 inch stack vent in every building? No, you don't. 2584 subsection 5 states that every building drain requires at least one vent at least three inches in size. It does not have to be a stack vent. It could be a branch vent, a continuous vent, or any other type of vent, as long as it's three inches in size. Now let's continue on into the garage and check out our plumber's service van. For the final question, what's the minimum size of a cleanout serving a 4-inch branch in the 15 code? Check it out on table 2472. It's an update in the 2015 National Plumbing. For more information on code clauses concerning roughens, check out your modules in 2nd, 3rd, and 4th year.